So hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be setting up my gravity light and here's the box. This is the uh, main unit. So I set up this real quick hookup on the uh, closet rod and this is like a little S carabiner type deal from Home Depot. And you can see there it says what? 10 pounds. So we're probably going to max this thing out. I'll probably use a couple more. We're supposed to have about 30 pounds worth, so we'll set this thing up like that. So here we go. I have the hooks hooked up to the top. So like I said, I was going to set up three, and that should be about 30 pounds worth. And in this bag, you're supposed to put, I got to double check, I think it's 29 pounds. So we're going to do that. Okay, so it's 26 pounds of weight. So one of the issues I was noticing is that the side of the bag, the side opening, it's only like that big. Yeah. So you're going to need to get weights that are like only a certain size there. Like I was going to try to use this 25 pound, but I don't think it'll fit. You're so dumb. Woo! See, this weight. doesn't fit there. Okay, so here's the solution. You got 25 pound plus a one pounder, 26. Okay, make sure you put like a towel or something in there because you don't want the bag to get ripped with the metal or sharp edges. All right, so I got the thing hanging. It's kind of rotating around. You can kind of see the light that it gives off there. We'll rotate this around. You can kind of hear it. It's really quiet though. I'm actually surprised how quiet it is. And there we have the weight has just touched the ground. So you actually grab this orange beads. I'm not exactly sure which way to get this goes. Oh, there we go. So you pull them. And using this hook tackle system, it'll raise the weight. And it's actually not that it's not that difficult to do this. What does that feel like? Let's see. It kind of feels like maybe like 5 pounds or 10 pounds. I'm thinking. Uh, and if I was using both hands, I think I could do it a lot quicker. Uh, you can see this thing, oops, it's rotating, my bad. You probably want to stabilize that, this is just super quick setup. There you go, now it's all the way at the top, I'll hold it, steady. There's your LED light. I don't know if you can hear that. But it sounds super quiet. Oh, can you hit the light for me? And uh, we got a secondary light in here. How bright is that? Mm. I don't know, how would I describe that? It's decent. I think they described it as 15 lumens, but for some reason it, it looks brighter than 15 to me. And then I think the, the height, like how high you hang it, gives you a further drop with the bag and it'll give you more more time with the light on. So I think I'll just sit here and see how long this takes to to go out I guess would be the proper term right <laughs> how long does this last gravity assisted light by uh, Decawatt it's the LED light and it's it's super cool I'm really impressed with it because as long as this gravity is pulling 
this way down, you're going to have light being produced. And I heard they also have a power generator, so I'm going to look into that. But gravity assisted lights, people have seen them. It might be a cool thing to take this thing apart and see what the heck's going on. These things cost like 75 bucks. But if you're in need of a light, might be a good idea. Have you seen? I've been sitting here talking a couple minutes. And off of this height, I think I'm going to get, I want to say like three to five minutes. You can actually see the cords here moving. I'll rotate it a little bit. But I, I don't think this is extended down to the full length that it can be. And if it goes all the way down, I think they say you can get 20 minutes off of this thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if that's the case, I'm curious what height does this have to be at? So probably on the next video, I'll try to set it up higher. Let me go down here. Right now, that's how much room I have off the floor. Right now I'm just timing how long it takes uh, from this height, which is like four feet off the ground, maybe. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Three to four feet. With uh, 26 pounds of weight. How long does it last? Well, we'll look at the time on the video, I guess. But it, look, <laughs> it looks like it's going to go for a little bit longer because we have this. Uh, we're at about maybe two feet off the ground. And we've already gone down maybe two feet, two and a half. So we're about four, four and a half feet off the ground. Maybe. And I think it's raining outside. Yes, it's raining it's raining. Cat's excited about this gravity assisted light. Gravity test. It's really interesting how you have this One, two, three, four. You have like a four, four corded system with the pulley over here and this cord here directly connected to the weight bag as it moves through and down. It's both sides are moving down and how it interacts here. Interesting little system design. And you can you can kind of feel it going through here. But it, it takes the weight off, it makes it easier to pull. When I pull the 26 pounds, it doesn't feel like it. It feels like 5 pounds, maybe 10. But super curious design, like I said. 
So just from this height, we've gotten, I don't know, maybe four minutes, maybe five minutes of light. It's, it's pretty good, I would say. And I think it can go, I think you can mount this thing higher and I think you'll get the full, you'll get the full 20 minutes as they say. That's really cool. Here's some info on the back. Big shout out to Gravity Light by Decawatt Global. Decawatt.global. Check them out. They're doing good work. They're helping people around the world to have clean energy using gravity, gravity assisted energy. That would be, that's one alternative energy we can use. I try to help everybody. You know, stop inhaling that smoke and they're using the, the wood burn or coal. Probably doing some damage to their lungs. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. Reaching the end. When, the, when we do reach the end, this light will shut off. Because it only, I think it's like a direct current. It only produces power as the gravity is pulling the, the weight bag. And then as soon as, as soon as it goes to the bottom... the light will turn off and then you know you need to pull the orange cord and ratchet it back up there you go there you go let me let me grab the uh, attachment lights. Okay, so here is one of the satellite lights that come with it, and you can plug into the side right there. Satellite. So the cord that they gave us, this one cord here, it's like ten to fifteen feet, man. It goes all the way across the room. Anyways, you're going to want to plug this into the side here. And then, okay, there we go. Plug it into the side. And I, oh, there we go. Plug it into the side. I think what's going to happen whenever it gets powered is that it's going to power both this LED on the front and this satellite LED. So let me go ahead and pull the chain. And I'll see what is going on with my satellites. So, so far the uh, the satellite is not working. I don't know why. Actually, hmm, curious. Oh, okay. I think I know how this works. There is a toggle on the side over here. If you pull on this, hmm, it does, it turns the front red. I don't know what that means. Maybe that means it's not good for business. And then you have the plug in on the side, the satellite. Aha, I found the issue. So you have one side for the satellite, and then you have the other side. And if you're going to have the polarity, you need to have it positive to negative. So you unplug one side and plug it into the other side and you should be good to go. In my opinion. Yeah, the so by the way, guys, you do have to twist this and then it will come on. But I just learned something. I saw a, when you take the load off of the motor, what you'll notice is that this thing will drop. It'll drop significantly faster because it seems like there's no load on the magnet in the motor. So I'll show you that by unplugging this, this here. So let me unplug it, boom. So I just unplugged it. 
and you can hear it noticeably louder and it's moving way faster then when you plug it back in just plug it back in super weird that that's how this stuff works okay hold on okay so here's your satellite and you can see on the side there's these lines if you twist the line you can have low and high and you can also see if you raise the camera angle back here it turns off as I twist it takes away power from the front LED which is pretty cool and then like I said before if you unplug this it'll drop faster and then when you plug it back in it stops in. Oh, by the way, I'll unplug this light. There we go. Free energy from gravity, guys. Gravity assisted power. Yeah. Which is super cool. And if you don't already know, I'm just a regular dude, but. I'm sure scientists and all the people, they're like, they know everything. They're probably not as impressed with this. I'm super impressed with the magnets and copper wires. And I love gravity assisted power. And I'm going to continue to work to try to provide that type of stuff for myself and my friends and family. I'll post it on the YouTube. This is the first, the first step guys. Step one, do your research and development elsewhere. I do it here. Alright, see you guys on the next one. Peace out.